So here we are with the unbox of the Tong Gate for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now, there's something fancy going on here with tag and prophesize an art of protection, which is balanced by the minimal statement case for smartphone. Now, the lid kindly requests that we open the package with a please open phrase as well, which is a nice little touch. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, let's be honest, Tongate is an unusual name, but hang in with me because this is a good case. Contents are going to include product information with wipes and installation instructions. Our first front case portion with built-in display protector, and then the case with a front portion without a built-in display protector, as well as a holster with a belt clip. Now, a little history about my case use. I used to intentionally avoid cases that had built-in display protectors because for some reason I thought that they were inferior to the other option, which was to manually install a display protector outside of the case itself. But I actually found that built-in display protectors worked just as good, if not better than a standalone display protector. And they're also a little bit easier to install. And that's a highlight of the Tongate here, the built-in display protector. Now, of course, if you don't wanna use the front portion with the built-in display protector, we have the portion that is pre-installed in the case itself, which we can take out of the holster here. And that's obviously not going to include a built-in display protector. But let's talk more about the case itself. Now, another highlight of the Tongate is going to be this built-in camera slider, which is going to keep those beautiful lenses dust and scratch free. This clicks into place and slides smoothly. This is a must have in my opinion. And then we have another benefit here. We have the built-in kickstand, which features Mech Brandon. Now, overall, the back of this case has a futuristic aesthetic to it, which is also tactical and it ships in seven color options. But let's talk about the other bonus item here, the belt clip holster that's also included here. And this overall gives you the idea that this isn't only the art of protection, but I would also argue the art of value because you're getting a lot in this whole kit, which is actually priced very competitively. Taking a closer look at this belt clip holster, it's actually designed very well. First, we're going to have Tongate Brandon in the center. So you can see we have quite a bit of Brandon on this whole unit through and through. And then we have a nice thumb release portion here, nice and big. It has some holes for gripping and it feels very durable. It doesn't feel flimsy like it's going to break. Now flipping over again, we are going to have Tongate Brandon on the clip itself. We have some holes here again on the clip itself. And the spring is very heavy duty. It's got very good resistance. Again, it doesn't feel flimsy. And this clip also rotates. Now it is going to feature actually a lot of resistance but that gives you confidence that it's not just going to randomly turn on you and it doesn't feel flimsy. So this allows you to rotate the whole holster into either portrait or landscape mode on your hip. If we take a closer look, you can see that we have some faux carbon fiber accent around the belt clip holster. Nice little touch there as well. So let's talk installation, but before we do so, I wanna mention that I'm coming from the spider case that you see here, and this features all around good protection as well. We have a built-in display protector, and if we flip over, we have protection over that camera module, though it's not sliding, it's permanent and in place. What I also love about the spider case is we have this clear back, so you can see the back of the phone, or you can insert stickers like I did here with the Mortal Kombat. But taking a closer look, we have instructions included in the front portion of the case, and it states, please separate the front frame from the left or right corner, which we can easily demonstrate here. So I'm just going to tilt at a favorable angle here and start to peel away the front portion of the case. Again, this is the portion 
without the display protector. And you can see that this just comes apart nice and easy. So for this demo, we're going to be using the front portion with the built-in display protector because I want maximum coverage. So if we take a closer look here, we're going to have this display protector, which we are going to peel. Now, before you go any further, you also have to peel off this area so you don't forget it on the inside of the case or else you're going to have to take it back apart so I've got my S23 Ultra cleaned here, ready to put into place. And that drops in nice and easy. And then we can grab this whole assembly and place it into the rear portion of the case here. Should just press right into place. Uh, but yes, this case is already Feeling nice in the hand, although we have some smooth edges. I do tend to like my cases with a bit more grip, but that's okay. This feels really good. I'm just going to press on the display, make sure we have a good seat here for the display protector. And then I'm going to peel off the protection film. And wow, that looks really good. Nice, clean install. Again, that's what I like to emphasize here. The built-in display protectors, I used to always avoid them, but the installation, in my opinion, is a lot easier than standalone display protectors. So let's go ahead and turn on my display. This looks amazing. Let's try that fingerprint. Very responsive. I'm going to try again here. Let's do another test. Works really well with this built-in display protector. But let's flip over to the back there. And I'm going to focus in a little bit better here. Again, we have that slider for the camera module that keeps those beautiful lenses free from scratches and dust. This kind of reminds me of an actual camera too. Really cool, locks into place. We get that nice little click. But let's talk about this kickstand. So the beauty of this kickstand is that it allows us to put our phone in landscape mode as well as portrait mode for viewing. This is a must have when you're dealing with the kickstand. You wanna have both of those orientations. That's a huge plus. And then let's fold up the kickstand. It again releases with a little bit of effort and clicks into place, huge plus. But let's talk exposure points of this case in regards to the S23 Ultra, since the S23 Ultra has quite a bit of stuff going on here. So first we're going to have that S Pen area. There is some exposure there. Then we're going to have the speaker. We've got a little bit of exposure there. And then the USB-C port, there is of course going to be exposure there. I would like to see a flap that goes over that USB-C port, keep it covered up, and also over that S Pen slot. The speaker is a bit more reasonable because you wanna be able to hear your audio. When it comes to the buttons, we have very good coverage there and good feel because the buttons extend out and we have good click feedback still. Now there is a feature I absolutely have to cover when it comes to the Tongate, and it's because it promotes excellent audio performance with its cutouts. So again, we have the cutout at the bottom here for the bottom speaker of the S23 Ultra, but then the S23 Ultra also features speakers at the top here, and the Tongate works with this by providing cutouts there as well. And this promotes, again, excellent audio performance. So I'm going to turn up the volume here. Nice and loud and rich. Just provides a really good gaming experience, audio experience, video viewing experience. Overall, excellent, something that we look for in a really good case. And then we have the belt clip holster once again, and we can dock the phone into it in one of two positions. So we can go with the face up here. That works really nice. And then we can also flip the phone around if we want to protect the display a little bit better. And then we can press that right into place. Works really well. Now what's really cool here is if we do install this into the belt clip holster 
face up, we can actually use the phone in this method. It's really cool. It provides a little bit of textured grip as well. But one thing I would have liked to see is this clip actually serve as a kickstand and lockout. We don't get that here. So that is an area of improvement. So the S23 Ultra and the Tongate pair for a really cool kit, but how can we take this kit even further? That's the question. And here we have the GLCon shockproof hard shell carrying case that we can install this kit into to further evolve this into maybe you could say the ultimate kit. So we can open this up, place the Tongate S23 Ultra assembly in there. This way we protect the case and the phone. And then we can zip this up. Before we do so, we have this nice pad in here to prevent more excessive sliding. And then we can zip up nice and smooth. And we can even take this one step further. I'm going to unzip. We can actually create a mobile gaming kit. So I'm going to take the phone out here. We're going to have to remove the holster, unfortunately, to create this gaming kit. And then I'll place the S23 Ultra with the Tongate in there. We'll fold the flap over. And then we'll take the GameSir X2 controller. That works really nice with the S23 Ultra when it's in this case. And then we can close this whole assembly. And now you have a mobile console gaming experience. Pretty cool. Yeah.